When I'm in Aldi and my kids go, he's shopping in Aldi. The people say, oh my God, you, you're shopping in Lidl or Aldi. I'm like, well, food in it, it's the same thing. I'm not going to pay £3.50 for a pack of Kit Kats that's usually on offer for a pound. No way. No matter how much money I've got. He said, once a poor man, always a poor man. They are just a bit of a normal but crazy family. No one's exempt from mental illness and nobody's out of reach, even a world heavyweight champion. Who wears the trousers in the relationship? What do you say? Paris and Tyson. Oh, that's good to know. What do you put? I said you. All right, thanks. Hey, hey I'll let you wear the pants today. So you both think the other one <laughs> calls the shots? I just just agree. I don't argue. I don't argue with Paris. I just agree with her. So whatever she wants, done. Whatever she wants to do, done. Whatever she wants to go, done. Whatever she wants, done. I don't argue. It's easier not to. So, yeah. I don't could know say, if that's entirely true, you know. <laughs> you could say entirely, entirely true. she's in charge. I, I don't really. If it, unless we've got a top plan, then just let Paris sort it. She, she does a good job. Who spends the most time on their phone? <laughs> Again, we've got a difference of opinion. Yeah, she thinks me, but I think her. While I I'm watching TV at night, yeah, she'll be scrolling through the phone. No, that's not true. Yes, we have been watching Game of Thrones for three weeks now, and I lay odds every night. I've just night got you this new WhatsApp it. group with all my friends and cousins and stuff on it. Yeah. So we talk about golf a lot, messing around. So, but she's on social media a lot. So, <laughs> you know, and I've on this group's only been open how long? Three weeks. So how, how long have you been on this group? You, yeah, three exactly. weeks. And you've been on it most of the time. Yeah, I get like a thousand uh, messages a day. Really contentious one here. Who takes the longest to get ready? It's not a hard one, is it? Oh, Easy. I'm fruitful there. First one you've agreed on. <laughs> Who is the most intelligent? Easy. Yeah. Who spends the longest in the toilet? Me. Oh, <laughs> That's just given, isn't it? The man in the house. Who would survive the longest? Ooh. In a zombie oh, apocalypse. Oh, I don't know though. No, I no. Myself. Hello, we would be there together. You would be looking after me, and I would be the brains of the operation. What would be your strategy, Tyson, if you were stranded on that desert island? Desert island full of zombies. Yeah. I'd want to get off the fucking thing. <laughs> I'd build a raft and get boat. out of there. We yeah. would make a boat. Of course we would. Are you going to leave me behind on the zombie no, island? No, no. I'd, I'd protect you. Good. Who spends the most on food? Food. It's not, not really like a thing though, because I do the shopping for the family. Yeah, we're, so that's we're... not fair. So on a personal thing, what would it be like? Who sends most on like junk food? We don't really have a, a food thing. Like we don't really have, have separate foods, you know. Yeah. Whatever's in the cupboard will get it. Yeah, whatever's in the pot, it's everybody's. And it's like a family budget. It's a family thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah, a saying: yeah. if you don't eat fast, you don't eat. Yeah, that's a hard house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is the better singer? Paris. Really? Yeah. yeah. Much you've, better. Because you've given us a couple of renditions I of fights. No one's ever heard yeah, he's Paris the more sing. confident singer. I, I'm the shower singer. Right. <laughs> Paris is a good singer. Very good singer. <laughs> Not the best, but good. I was going to ask you, Paris, because Tyson's used to the limelight. You maybe not so much. So filming this series, what was that like? Um, do you know what? It wasn't actually anything different because everything me and Tyson, everything he's been through, I've been through with him. Even if I haven't been there on the camera, I've been there in, in the backdrop. So I've seen it all, so it was nothing different um, when the cameras come in. Uh, I adapted to it really easily. Who is the most annoying? Me. Yeah, you are honest about that. I'll just take the flack. And my but follow you are the most annoying, realistically. Whatever. <laughs> so See what I mean by agreeing? <laughs> Always See, annoying. that's annoying, isn't it? What's Tyson's most annoying habit, in your opinion, Paris? Oh, you know what, I say he's the most annoying, but they, I got asked this today, I don't know what his annoying habits is. I don't really have any annoying no, habits. No, I don't do think I? either of us have it. I think we've been together that long. Oh, I'll tell you what, you don't like what I do. Like, I'm always, like, tapping and yeah. knocking something. Can you, like, can you stop that? It's yeah. annoying me. Oh, I'll tell you another thing he does that's annoying. He'll be wearing a jumper in the car when I'm wearing a dress and have all the windows down and telling you I'm hot. I'm hot, and I'll say, take the sweater off. You are hot, I am The feather full. coat, the parka yeah, and the hat. Yeah, the, full woolly, the fully woolly ensemble, and I'll be stuck there and be dressed thinking we're going somewhere. There again, I suppose that's back to me being <laughs> her fault and not bringing a coat. Yeah. Who's the better cook? Paris. I'm useless at cooking. What's your favourite meal to cook for the family? 
Easy one, that's it's it's Sunday roast, isn't it? Sunday roast, yeah. We have it maybe three or four days a week. <laughs> I love the fact that I come home and I've got a Sunday roast on a Tuesday. That's like, <laughs> wow, it quite about I that. love it. Who is the bigger party animal? Uh, considering my past, yeah. probably me. For sure. But I, not I, so let's much ask anymore, this though. though. Who's really the most me. sociable? Sociable what? Who's the it? most sociable person? Paris. I'm not a sociable person. Yeah. So as really much as the party, yeah. Tyson and... done the party in. But as sociable, I think I'm the most sociable one. Are you someone, Tyson, that doesn't need other people around them to you're happy in your own company? No. I have no. to have someone around me twenty four hours a day. I hate my own space. I don't want to be on my own for any amount of time. I think there'd be a lot of time to be on your own when you're dead. So I like to have company all the time, whether I'm in the gym, at home, driving a long journey. I think that I is one, one of your problems in. in life, isn't it? Like yeah. if, if wherever he goes, if the kids are in school, if even if he's going to the shop, he'll be like, come with me. Like, I'm just in the, I'm doing the washing. I'm not, I can't come with you right now. I've got paperwork to do. And he's like, just come with me to the shop. He, he does not like his own space. He likes somebody I there. I like to be interactive with somebody. I like to talk to somebody all the time. But the actual events side of things. Oh, more than more than one person. Yeah, no, more than more than what two or three at a time. What's that? More than two or three people at a time. You're not really interested in that, are you? No. Who takes the longest in the shower? Paris. I'm not really long though. That just depends what you've I'm, got to do. I can get a shower in like thirty seconds. Yeah, but I have to shave and wash my hair, and like moisturise and scrub. I'll give you that. I don't have any hair. <laughs> <laughs> Who spends the most on clothes? Considering I don't spend any money on clothes at all. Yeah. So it would be Paris. Be like I don't have any clothes. Like you do have a shoe fetish. I I get I've got my own tracksuits and stuff. Mm. I don't spend any money on clothes at all. When's the last time I bought any? Actually, oh, you do. two years ago I bought some jeans, Levi jeans. That oh, was well, it. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Versace shirts. And are they going cheap lately, or is it just me? No, no, I have a few okay. shirts, but like I don't like she'll tell he has you. Yeah, ten I don't, shirts. I don't, that I don't really silk. buy clothes. You know what I mean? I'm not really a clothes person, am I? I have lots of suits and stuff, but mm. they're for free. I don't, I don't pay for them. This is the first time you've allowed cameras into your home on an unprecedented scale. What was your favourite thing about doing that, and the thing you liked the least about giving so much access to people? Do you want to go first? I'll go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think my my favourite thing about it is that I know what the outcome will be, and I I am maybe big headed and thinking that I think most people will love to see it because um, we are just a bit of a normal but crazy family. We have a, a normal sort of setup, you know, mum, dad, kids, dog, school runs, and then I think people will relate to that as well as the crazy side, which is interesting to everybody so I think that's good and I, I remember when we started I didn't want it to be it was never going to be anything false because we're not false people it was always going to be real me Tyson our real life and I think that was the good side of it bad side I didn't really find a, a, a lot of negative of it um, I think sometimes it was stressful because most of the time you wasn't aware the cameras was there because they just started to become like flies on the wall you just you got that used to them being there it wasn't something but when like the kids would really play up or like you'd have a big argument and you wouldn't feel you wouldn't notice them at the time, but then afterwards you'd be like, Oh crap, that's going on the telly show. <laughs> Everyone's gonna see that. And then I realised again, it was just like, Well, you know what, that's life. So it wasn't really a bad point as such, but that was one of them. My answers are not that in depth. Mine my favourite part of it all is what everybody's favourite part of their job is, getting fucking paid. Yeah, that's the truth, right? Who wants to work for free? Who doesn't love payday? I know I do. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I do it for. That's why. Why do I get up? Why do I get my face punched in for money? Obviously, for a paycheck. Prize fighter. I'm not a free fighter. I'm a prize fighter. So I do it. I do it for the paycheck. And what was the worst part of it? Mm. Having cameras there all the time when maybe I, I wasn't feeling good, or I was down, I was depressed or whatever, that, that was it. But then, at the end of the day, that, that's bit, I turned that into a positive because, like Paris said earlier in interviews, many of them give people opportunity to see that no one's exempt from mental illness and nobody's out of reach, even a world heavyweight champion. You, Paris, you hinted at this, you both come across as really down-to-earth people, but there's always a tendency when people become extremely successful 
for their heads to go, their lives to change, their perception of uh, their attitudes and behaviour to change. Y you two certainly haven't then. And is that what you want to come across with this show? Yeah, I, I don't think it was a want. It was just part of the... It was just natural for it to be because we haven't really changed. We haven't changed. I don't want to change. I never wanted to... Like, when I married Tyson and you started to get famous and, you know, we, we came off pretty wealthy and things changed, I didn't ever look and think, oh, I want to be uh, driving a flash car and I want to be uh, a celebrity and I, I want to eat in the best restaurants. I want to, you know, I didn't want to do anything different to that what we'd always done. I wanted a family, I wanted a, a home, and I don't think we changed where we started to where we are now. So no, I don't. I think um, we just... we. We're still trying to bring the kids up the same way we was brought up. Um, you know, checking the price tags on things, not expecting nothing, don't expect to be handed anything. You know, they don't, they don't get took every week for sort of for a toy. You know, that just sort of normality and normal checking life that I want the kids to be brought up with. Um, and I think that's more the reason why I've stayed grounded. Probably both of us is just for them as well. You know, I don't want my kids to grow up and be spoilt. Uh, and entitled to thinking they're entitled to something when they we're all just humans and they all just need to remember that some people sort of get ahead of themselves in their life and you know I've seen I've seen it firsthand you know going a bit below the belt but I've been to these like parties where these celebrities and things and they'll walk past people or they'll they'll arrogantly ask for a drink I mean what does please and thank you cost I mean we was brought up with morals and manners and I wouldn't like to see the repercussions if my mum saw me say, like, give me a drink without saying please. So, no, I think... But I do think, like, someone, one of my friends said to me recently, he said, once a poor man, always a poor man. This poor man he's talking about, he's a very, he's a multimillionaire, he's done very well. But in our minds, we're always poor. No matter how many, much money you make. Like, I will go to Asda... Or I'll go to, uh, I was going to say Netto, but it don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to, I'll go to Asda or Aldi or Lidl. And while I'm in these shops, I'm looking for the deals, like a pack of Kit Kats a pound. And if they're not that, yeah, I won't buy them. Now, they're like I'm not going to pay £3.50 for a pack of Kit Kats that's usually on offer for a pound. No way. No matter how much money I've got, I just won't do it because it's not in me to do that. And when I'm in Aldi and my kids go, he's shopping in Aldi. <laughs> no, like, Lidl, it's his Lidl. Lidl, song. whatever then, yeah. <laughs> and then the, the people say, oh my God, you, you're shopping in Lidl or Aldi. I'm like, well, it's food, isn't it? It's the same thing. And we just don't see, expect to see you here. But, or even if I go to like Asda or Morrison, wherever I go, yeah, they'll say, well, I don't expect you to see you here in wherever, Sainsbury's. I'm like, is there a certain don't special know where we're meant food to go. place to shop? You know, like, like an old celebrity all celebrity joint. Hall. I'm not sure, but we we are very we're very. Uh, we don't live like um, rich Fancy people. Life. Whether we're, we're shopping in Aldi or we're looking for a meal deal somewhere, or we're taking the kids to like a funky wacky warehouse place. Don't get me wrong, we we, we have been to posh restaurants and stuff like that, but I just feel like. When you've got six kids screaming up and down and someone's saved up for a long time to go for a fancy meal, it's a special time. So for me to bring six kids screaming and shouting, well, four of them, the two don't, it's unfair on everybody else. Because for me, I don't care if it's a Ritz Carlton or if it's a all you can eat for a fiver. To me, I'd go there anyway, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, whatever. It's not a problem. But to somebody else who's saved up and planned this, it's, it's a big deal. So I don't want to spoil their big deal because, oh, I want to eat quickly in and out in 25 minutes with an army of kids. So that's why we don't really go to them places. I would say I'm definitely considerate for, for others. I'm not, not that selfish because I've seen it a lot. And even if we do go to nice places with all the kids, I say to Paris, look, it's on fire and everybody else. Let's just go. The kids are screaming, shouting, throwing things across the restaurant, as kids do. But... Yeah, we tend to go to like more kid-friendly places. And we've always done that, haven't we? We always wanted to be a family. We always wanted kids. We wanted that family uh, routine thing. And I think we've, we've got that and we, we do that. That does come across in the show. And I'm really grateful um, for you putting the time away today. I'm sure it's going to go down a storm. Thank you. I watched it last night and uh, I think opinions are going to be the same amongst the audience as well. So thanks Great. very much Thank for your time. You. Thank awesome. you very much.